So this is to do with crude oil and fractional distillation. Now crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons as we said earlier and as it is it's not very useful but if we can separate the mixture into different parts then it becomes very very useful. So we said it's a mixture of different length hydrocarbons so I've got two here I've got a very short chain one that's um, ethane that's just got two carbon atoms on it as you can see and that's got a low boiling point and then I've got a longer chain hydrocarbon with 11 carbon atoms and that's got a higher boiling point so if I heat up my mixture in my fractionating tower what happens is the short chain molecule which has a low boiling point that goes to the top but my longer chain molecule um, which has a higher boiling point that goes lower down the column towards the bottom and that's how fractional distillation works let's look at that in more detail so when I heat my crude oil it's separated into six different groups which we call fractions and those fractions are gases, petrol, kerosene, diesel, fuel oil and bitumen and the shortest chain molecules the ones with the lowest boiling point they go to the top and they become gases and the ones with the longest, longest chain molecules, they go to the bottom because they've got high boiling points and they become bitumen. And you need to know about the uses of each of the six fractions. So, gases are used for cooking. Petrol is used as a fuel for cars. Kerosene is used as a fuel for planes. Diesel is used as a fuel for lorries and cars as well. Fuel oil is used as a fuel for ships. And bitumen, I'm going to slap it on them roads.